Controversial title. We know that, we get it. But hear us out. If we are talking about mechanical switches and if we are talking specifically about clicky switches, we are pretty sure that everybody would immediately blurt out the words MX Blue. But if we were to ask you to name yet another clicky switch, we highly recommend that you actually say the words Razer Green. With custom keyboards getting more and more popular and tactile and linear switches getting the spotlight, do not dismiss the clicky switch. You might be pleasantly surprised at how great Razer Greens are. Today, we are checking out the Razer Black Widow V4 Pro and it's Razer's flagship Black Widow that has basically all the features you can ask for in a keyboard. This is a full-size keyboard, so for all of those of you who require a numpad, you'll be well covered. In addition, you do also get access to media controls and even a custom knob which Razer calls the command dial, which can provide you a variety of actions that can be customized to your individual needs and to the software of your liking. For all you gamers out there, there's also a total of 8 dedicated macro keys on the left, 3 of which are actually on the side of the frame, giving you an easier access to the abundance of skills in MOBAs and MMOs. The keycaps are also of the double shot ABS variety, which looks great and feels great. But should you want to upgrade to PBT for even higher durability, you have that option too. But of course, you do have to fork out a little bit more. Now, you do get full chroma RGB, which even extends to the wrist rest, which can be attached magnetically and does also expand on that RGB goodness. Say what you may about RGB, but Razer probably does it the best. Synapse, however, is a whole other story, but that's a story for another day. There's also the option to plug in another Type-A to Type-C cable, which will power that Type-A port found on the frame itself. It's basically a USB pass-through, and it's best used with a USB headset, or perhaps as a home for your wireless mouse dongle. Now, there are many other great things about this keyboard, such as the 8000Hz polling rate, the great build quality, the usage of sound dampening foam on the inside and more, but let's put that all aside. We want to talk about switches, so let's talk about switches. With all new Razer mechanical gaming keyboards, you basically get a choice between Razer Green or the Razer Yellow. The Razer Green is a clicky, tactile switch, while the Razer Yellow is a smooth, linear switch. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm personally a, quite a fan of the Razer Yellow switch. It's actually seriously pretty nice to the point that I actually contemplated desoldering a board of it and using those yellow switches in a custom board instead. But that doesn't mean you should discount the Razer Green. As mentioned, MX Blues are probably the most famous when it comes to clicky switches, but we reckon that Razer Greens are a really close second. The Razer Green is a standard MX style switch, so you'll be able to open them up using a standard MX opener. Breaking it down, it has an opaque cream colored bottom housing, a standard silver colored spring, the copper leaf which also comprises of the click jacket, a standard MX style stem in the iconic green color, and the transparent top housing. In terms of the technical specifications, you get a travel distance of 4mm with an actuation point of 1.9mm and a reset point of 1.5mm and a total actuation force of 50 grams. Oh, and yes, 100 million keystroke lifespan, which is basically way more than you'll ever need. If you were to press a key 10,000 times a day, every day, you'll be able to do so for 27 years before exceeding the rated lifespan. Basically, the switches are really well built, and they truly are. So, why might you want to consider the Razer Green? We would say that there are three main things. Sound and feel, accuracy, and hidden benefits. The first pointer, sound and feel. Now of course, this is a highly subjective opinion, but you have to admit that the Razer Green is a good clicky switch, and there is a reason why it's still around. We aren't exactly sure what Razer did, but it feels exactly like what you would want in a clicky switch. The actuation is nice, the click is satisfying, and the wobble is much better than you would expect from a clicky switch. And if you are a fan of the classic sound that's akin to that of a typewriter or older classic keyboard, you'll be happy with this. Kill the sound test.
We then have the second pointer, accuracy. Razer got the actuation force just right, and coupled with the satisfying sound of a click, it gives you that confidence with every keystroke. At any point in time, it is evidently clear when you're typing right and it feels natural. And when you do get it wrong, you do also know it pretty much instantly. But more so than that, you probably also know how and why you made the mistake. Unlike linears and especially light linears, while they may give you the lightning fast reaction speeds that's essential for gaming, they don't really fare as well for general typing. Razer Green manages a fine balance between the two and this is probably one of the key reasons why we feel that the Razer Green is a little bit better than the MX Blue. Now, the last pointer, hidden benefits. <laughs> what do we mean by that? With clicky switches, you don't have to lube your switches and you don't have to do such a good job with your stabilizers either. Because of the click jacket, lubing a clicky switch is actually not ideal as it would interfere with the snappy feel and crispy sound of the click. In fact, it's generally a rule to not lube clicky switches and it kind of defeats the entire purpose of it. So in a sense, you're saving time there and you're already getting the best that a clicky switch can offer. More importantly, however, will be the stabilizers. Just a little bit of lube and you're good to go. You wouldn't be able to notice the subtle differences due to the nature of clicky switches. Both the feel and the sound will be slightly masked thanks to the click jacket. With the Black Widow V4 Pro, Razer did a slight loop job on the stabilizers, and while you can actually tell that it's not that great if you choose to go with the Razer Yellow, it's actually perfectly fine with the Razer Greens. This is, well, how it sounds. Not bad, right? So, there you have it. The advantages of clicky switches and the hidden benefits you get from them. You might not love clicky switches at all, but you do have to admit that they do have their place. And Razer has done a really good job with their Razer Green. It's actually pretty good. Anyways, let us know if you're a fan of clicky switches and which clicky switch do you feel is best on the market right now? Kale, Razer, Logitech, Galeron, you name it. Type them down in the comments below. Anyways, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to us for more of such content and we'll catch you in the next one. See ya!